I just think it's going. It's getting worse because n nothing that they do is stopping this. They got to find a way to stop this uh, this gun violence. Outrage in San Francisco's Mission District after a shooting there leaves nine people wounded and police tonight still trying to find those behind the gunfire. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes. Doctors believe that all nine of those victims from last night's shooting will survive. Reaction to this recent case of gun violence, though, in the city continues to pour in, including a new statement from Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, who tweeted today, San Franciscans are praying for those wounded in last night's horrific shooting in the mission and their loved ones. Thanks to our first responders and medical professionals, no lives were lost. The investigation continues, but we know this. We must end the scourge of gun violence, Nancy Pelosi says. KTV's Dave Detling joins us now live from our newsroom with what other people in the community are saying about this shooting. Good evening, Heather. Well, city leaders who spoke out on last night's violence say they're committing resources to those impacted. And for the first time, we're hearing from one of the businesses impacted by last night's drive-by shooting. The storefront of clothing brand Dying Breed and Mission Skateboards remained closed and locked up Saturday. The skateboard shop posting to Facebook saying, We watched our friends and neighbors selflessly tend to the wounded without question. Our peers were the best and bravest. Grateful everyone survived. Its customers are in shock after last night's shooting in the Mission District. I don't know why. This, this is a, like a neutral store. San Francisco police say the drive-by shooting happened at 24th Street and Street Avenue just after 9, as the clothing store was celebrating its sixth anniversary with a block party. Why anyone would shoot into the crowd is puzzling to Ramon Carrasco. The only skaters come here and they're not affiliated, so I'm thinking why they do that. If there was some personal, personal, uh, something personal, or I don't know why. It just doesn't make sense to me. One thing police are saying is that this was an isolated and targeted incident. So far, there have been no arrests. San Francisco Mayor London Breed denouncing the crime that left nine people ages 19 to 35 injured. This is definitely uh, heartbreaking and challenging, not just for uh, the mission community, but for our city as a whole. Also sounding off, San Francisco Supervisor Hillary Ronan. In a statement, she said in part, she's extremely grateful for the first responders who rendered aid during the horrific act of gun violence, adding her office will provide support to the community to address the impacts of this traumatizing event. Senator Scott Weiner also responded in a tweet calling the mass shooting both terrifying and tragic. He went on to say, given the tidal wave of guns in the U.S., no community is immune from gun violence and that everyone must work to put an end to gun violence. The mayor pledged assistance, telling the public those responsible will be caught. Our police department is on it. Our services that we provide to victims of violent crime, they are on it. And so our plan is to do everything we can to, again, make sure that there is accountability and the perpetrator or the perpetrators are brought to justice. And again, both stores impacted by that drive-by shooting will be closed through the weekend. That's according to a Facebook post. Again, no arrests in this case. As for the nine victims, all were taken to San Francisco General Hospital and are expected to make full recoveries. Live in the newsroom, Dave Detling, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Hello. All right, Dave, thank you.